everyone, welcome to our show. Each week, two authors get together and talk about their most recent work. Mm. All right, let's start with you. Well, my most recent work is this book, mm. No One Belongs Here More Than You, stories by Miranda July, also known as me. Oh, well, nice to have you to the show, Miranda. You're welcome. Um, so tell me a little bit about this book. Um, how thick is it? Um, well, it's about this thick. Mm. Like if I take my fingers, it's that much. Mm -hmm. And what other things are that thick? Um, bread, sprouted bread, uh -huh. um, and a lot of pieces of paper. Uh-huh. Right. Um, what's it this? about? Um, it's about the conga. Mm. That, that is an exciting topic. Yeah. The, uh, that part of Africa. So I think it might be called the Congo, <laughs> but you would know. Well, you it's sort of, book. yeah, I actually sort of tried to feminize it, so I have the A at the end, sort of like, mm -hmm. in the Spanish language. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should talk about my yeah. book now. Let's see what, what, what you've written recently. Um, I wrote this. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's called Roger's International Thesaurus. Right. Uh, I was wondering a couple things actually. First, um, how did you come up with so many other words for the words? Well, I used the thesaurus. Oh, you did. Okay. okay. And how did you decide to uh, call yourself Roger? Is that sort of like a pseudonym? Do no, Roger. Roger. Uh, I my name isn't Roger. Um, Roger is the name of the protagonist. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's sort of one of his main main conflicts? I know there's a lot of conflict well, in your work. Um, you know, when he meets the international thesaurus, it's like, you know, terrifying because so many words. They're so huge, and you know, everyone's not they've been extinct <laughs> for so many years. Are you I'm okay? sorry, it just makes me emotional because I know Roger's battle was. I mean, I think it's something we can all relate to. You know. <laughs> Sorry, this so is sad. Would you like me to read a, a section from it? Yeah. This is from just after Roger has first been uh, injured by the thesaurus. Okay. The, oh, is it a dinosaur also? Because I kind of got that as I was reading it. Sort of a thesaurus, a thesaurus, a thesaurus, you know? I like to, you know, Do leave that up to the read. Yeah, okay. Okay. So night has just fallen. You know, there's sort of a hush across the land. And then life preserver, because life jask, life vest, life belt, cork jacket, May West, mm. informal, life buoy, life ring, buoy, water wings, breeches hmm. buoy, life boat, life raft, rubber dinghy, life net, life line, safety belt. Wow. Safety. I really like your, your repetition and your use of rhythm. Thank you. Yeah. And do you think there's going to be a sequel, sort of Roger's sort of second act? Um, yeah, I think, uh, well, this one was international, the international thesaurus, and I think we might come upon some things that are more regional, mm -hmm. you know. Um, like in Reseda. Yeah, yeah, Roger's Reseda thesaurus, you know. All right, thanks Thank for you. watching. Thanks. Thanks.